Hi beautiful people, welcome back to The Overwhelmed Woman. I'm Emma and if you are already stressed at the prospect of Christmas in the middle of a world pandemic then you're not alone. Um, we can't do anything about what's going on in the world around us but I've got a few tips that might help you reduce your Christmas clutter, reduce your stress and save your pennies. Here's how. Okay, number one, and it's a no-brainer, but set yourself a budget and stick to it. There is nothing that takes the shine off Christmas quicker than opening your credit card bill in January. If you can't afford it, don't buy it. It is not worth getting in debt for. And one of the biggest things that we spend so much of our money on is Christmas tut. Those one-time novelty games, blow-up handlers, ping-pong tennis that you use once and then invariably they get shoved to the back of the cupboard only to end up in a landfill a few years down the line. So just be savvy with your spending and uh, you won't be paying for this Christmas next year. Okay, if money's really tight this year and you normally buy a ton of presents for lots of family members, friends, work colleagues, extended family, then why not consider adopting the secret Santa principle and all of your family and friends get together draw a name and just buy for that one person. If you've got the money and you can buy tons of presents, brilliant. But again, if you're struggling this year, there is no point putting yourself in debt. And presents are great, but they are forgotten long after the memories stay with you of the time shared with people that you love. Number three, Christmas cards. They are lovely, but they are also, for many of us, a source of Christmas clutter that actually end up making your recycling bin look prettier than your house. So perhaps instead of spending a ton of money on Christmas cards and stamps, use the money for something more important instead, especially if money's tight this year. Um, for us, every year for the last five years, we've donated the money we would spend on cards and stamps to charity instead. So this year it's going to be age UK and crisis. And I reckon those people need that money more than we need a card on our mantelpiece. Okay, the next one is Christmas craft making and recycling, upcycling, should I say. So um, if you are alone especially and you are climbing the walls and you are good at making things or craft making, those kind of things are lovely to keep you sane. And nothing speaks more from the heart than having a present that's been made by someone. Um, but that said, only do it if it's not gonna look like the truffles I made last year, which resembled something that my dog had thrown up. Nobody wants that. Um, and as far as upcycling goes, how many of you have got really beautiful things lying around your home that other people have bought you that you feel guilty to get rid of? get rid, give it to someone else that's going to need it more than you do. I'm always really honest, I tell people that it's a blatant sub cycle but you know what, the people that love me don't measure my love for them by the amount of money I spend on them and if you are in that mentality, each to their own but you might want to rethink the true meaning of Christmas because it really is the thought that counts. Okay, and finally, this is the most important thing of all, really, but just remember the real meaning of Christmas. If nothing else this year has taught us that trying to reach perfection and having perfect homes and spending loads of money on fabulous things, it really isn't what matters. And it might sustain you for a while, but long term, it won't bring you joy. Um, so keep the love, keep kind, but most of all, Put that kindness on you first because there is absolutely no point you burning yourself out and uh, i promise you now when you get to the end of this life the only thing that will matter is the memories you created for the loved ones you leave behind not that your christmas table resembled something out of a john lewis catalogue or that your parsnips were perfectly glazed so as far as christmas dinner goes buy yourself some bailey's pouring cream <laughs> do love Bailey's pouring cream. I don't know why that made me laugh. And uh, uh, get yourself some pigs in blankets and just take the stress out. It's just a posh Sunday roast at the end of the day. But uh, yeah, we put ourselves under a lot of unnecessary pressure. And if you are alone this year, I am not going to be conceited and say I understand what that's like because I don't. But what I do know is that you share that 
feeling with millions of other people um, and there are lots of people out there to support and keep you connected so keep on keeping on and um, I'll link some of that information into the description below and listen if you've ever watched It's a Wonderful Life please take from that that you are important and you matter because each and every single one of us is precious. We're all here for a reason. We're all on different journeys and none of us know why someone else's journey is so very different to our own. But um, in one thing we are is that we're very often all overwhelmed together. So you're not alone in that respect. So anyway, until next time, which might actually be a review of the Shark Hoover that I bought myself a few months ago, which I'm telling you now was all my Christmases and birthdays in one. <laughs> How sad is that? But um, until next time, massive love. Keep on keeping on. And remember, we all deserve to lead a clutter-free life. Mwah!